Hey guys, Mike from 24 Hour Solar Power here today and I've been sent an email in the last few days about one of our suppliers has basically won the best battery based solar system. So I had a quick read through the email and I just want to give my feedback and thoughts on it. So if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you can smash the like button down below. And if you do really enjoy this video, if you can share it with friends or family. Our intention as a business is to really help educate people as much as possible when choosing the right battery based solar system for your home energy storage. So let's get stuck into it. Now the best battery based solar systems, SunGro is the number one these guys have recommended. So this is from Clean Energy Reviews. This is an Australian company that's done some reviews on products. So they rated the SunGrow as the best um, battery backup. Now SunGrow uses Samsung cells. Samsung's a really good battery. Uh, I know there's some people that probably are big to differ when it comes to mobile phone batteries. We know all about the Samsung saga with exploding mobile phone batteries. But from a home battery storage, they do supply a really good quality, high-end battery. Uh, there's a test lab in Canberra called BatLab. If you want to Google it, or I'll put the uh, link in the description down below. Samsung batteries have performed amazing in that test, so they're really good. Um, we'll jump through these, and I'll come back to the reason, I suppose, with SunGrow of why I wouldn't choose it. Um, and as you know, the rate of this is a, the best battery. There's a lot more that goes into a battery-based solar system. I'll get into that, the reason I wouldn't choose it. We don't supply it as a business. Um, LG Chem, great battery. LG Chem is on a rip tear when it comes to batteries. Um, BYD is an, another battery in the world, which is, um, BYD is probably the largest manufacturer of batteries in the world. And LG Chem and BYD are really competing. LG have just done some really cool contracts with Tesla. So all the Chinese made Teslas are going to have LG Chem batteries in them. There's a couple other factories open around the world in European with Tesla where they're going to have the LG Chem pouch batteries in the, in the, uh, in the cars. So look out for that there. What that's really going to mean for us in a home battery storage is the LG Chem technology, it's going to get cheaper, more affordable, because if LG are making all the batteries for all the Tesla cars, uh, you know, just the volume is going to really help reduce. So. They're a really good battery with the LG Chems. We use these a lot with the Solar Edge uh, installations. Uh, Tesla Powerwall, this is another one of my favorites. It's a really good AC coupled inverter. Um, it's probably your best bang for your buck. The one downside with the Tesla Powerwall is you're buying a 13 kilowatt hours of usable storage up front. You know, if you're sort of looking at five kilowatt hours or a modular battery to grow with Tesla, yeah, it's a huge upfront investment because you're buying such a large battery but it's a really good AC coupled battery, which just means it works with pretty much any single inverter out in the marketplace. I don't know if you've ever, if you research the solar at the moment, it says, oh, you know, every solar system is battery ready. And that's the reality that is true. If you use a Tesla Powerwall or something like this, um, it is battery, battery ready. So um, really good. Power Plus batteries, these are one of my favorite batteries. This is probably the number one install battery we do for off-grid. Uh, I love Power Plus, the guys are down in Victoria. Um, yeah, really good company to deal with, really amazing battery. Uh, and yeah, like I said, this is probably our number one for an off-grid. So if you are looking to install a complete off-grid system, this is one of the best ones. Uh, and the Redback Smart Hybrid Inverter. Now this is a battery that we offer. Uh, it's an all-in-one, really good, because you can actually start off with four and a half or 4.8 kilowatt hours of battery storage. You can add and grow it. Um, so you can grow it up to, I think the maximum is about 11 or 12 kilowatt hours of battery storage. You can grow that Redback, Redback Smart Hybrid Inverter in. And these are another Australian based company. So I really like these from my point of view, these two, three, and four, uh, they're all favorites for their own different applications for us as a business. LG Chem and Tesla are our two favorites to use with a, with a solar edge inverter. Power Plus is one of our favorites for off grid. And um, the Redback Smart Hybrid is basically one of our favorites for when we install a hybrid system for a customer. Now, coming down below, and we're gonna talk about and go back to the sun ground, probably the biggest reason that we don't offer it as a business. Um, so it's really compact, it's got Samsung batteries in it. And um, if you look down here, it's got 4.8 usable kilowatt hours. They say the price is about $4,000. Now, I don't like these prices online with this sort of stuff here. 
because it doesn't include so many things to make the battery work. Like this is literally just the battery, then there's this and that, and you know, an isolator, DC connector. So take these prices that you see online from these guys with a grain of salt, and when you're doing your research on batteries, yeah, take the price with a grain of salt because there's so much more that goes in on battery system. Now, I'll give an example with the Redback. Um, this is a great system that everything's included. Literally, we put AC in one side, AC on the other side, done. Everything's included in the price set there where these other systems where you've got to put this together and that together. Um, pretty much if you look at a battery, it's got this is the battery and uh, this is the inverter. There's a whole heap of stuff that's got to go in between that they just don't account for in the cost. So well, one of the big reasons that we don't offer this as a product um, is, you know, I'll get onto where most people, here we go, this is what I want to look at. Um, so when the grid's available, what will happen if, if you've got a battery-based backup hybrid system in and you turn a load on that's 5,000 watts, what will happen from your battery-based solar system, because this one here, the backup power is only 3,000 watts, what will happen is 3,000 watts will come from batteries and then 2,000 watts will come from the grid. So if you turn a load on bigger than that 3,000 watts, you're still going to be buying half of your energy from the grid. Um, so even though you install a battery and you want to be self-sufficient, you can install two of these batteries, you can do, yep, and you're still only going to be able to pull 3,000 watts from batteries. So if you, as someone that runs, say for example, you run an aircon, which is 2,500 watts, that's pretty extreme for an aircon. And then you turn your toaster on and your kettle, for example, you want to make a cup of tea. Um, what will happen is 2,500 watts is going to come from the batteries, we'll just say, and the rest of that's going to come from the grid. The other thing I don't like about the ratings on these, it says output 3,000 watts or 3,000 VA. Now volts times amps. The volts times amps is all temperature rated. The 3,000 watts is a perfect optimum situation. The reality with these things, they're gonna pull about 2,500 watts from the batteries pretty consistently and there'll be some spikes and when you know the moon's aligned, you'll be able to pull 3,000. Um, but when you size and design a system, you just, yeah, if this sort of data sheet, I talked to a customer about 2,500 watts is pretty much what you can comfortably pull from batteries from that there. So yeah, so back to the best batteries. Now, you know, being a Samsung battery with this SunGrow battery, I'm pretty confident it's gonna be a really good battery. But from a usable point of view as a customer, you're only gonna be able to use 2,500 watts from that battery. And if you wanna use more from that there, you know, the LG cam paired up with a, with a solar edge system, you can pull 5,000 watts from. And same with the Tesla Powerwall. Um, if it's, you can pull 5,000 watts from your Tesla Powerwall. So these two systems are no different. That literally, um, when, when you're pulling more than 5,000 watts, it's gonna pull it from the grid. That's the maximum you can pull. But yeah, it's double what the other, with the, what the SunGrow can do. So there's a lot to can take into consideration with best batteries. I would, yeah, all these are really good batteries um, from my point of view. It's just what's usable from the batteries and what you can do. So um, thanks for watching, guys. If you really enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a like and a share. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.